view of downtown Detroit is seen from the riverfront on a beautiful day here in the Motor City. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Wiggins and Covington fill the wings. Marcus Morris is out there with Towns, and it's Jones in at the one spot. And for the Pistons, on the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. And it's Robinson in at the small forward position. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Outside, Jones. Rebound, Detroit. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Here's Kennard, defended by Jones, and Drummond is right there. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. He's just a dog at offensive rebound. Now here's Towns. Higgins outside. Misses the three. Out to the right wing. Kennard, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And it's Jones with the ball for the Timberwolves. Four-point game. Pass to Covington. Morris outside. Here's Towns. Morris trying to free himself up. And it's Towns missing. The Pistons have gone two or three here to start out the game. Jackson from long range. The Pistons rebound for Minnesota. They've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. For three, Covington. No good on that one. And Detroit the other way now. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a buck. Jackson misses. Minnesota's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. On the wing, Jones, guarded by Jackson. Shot clock at three. Another miss by Minnesota. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Kennard, the pass to Jackson. Now here's Griffin. Right side, Robinson. From deep. That shot, no good. Minnesota off to a slow start. Still without a basket in the game. And Towns throws it down. There's the great length we're always talking about with Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, leaving no doubt about that. Now here's Drummond. Outside for Robinson. From deep three-point range. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Timberwolves have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. They'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. What's the news, David? The coach did not mince words. He told his team that even though they took game one, they have to come out and play with even more intensity to keep their home court advantage. He said, so far, we've just held serve. It's only going to get tougher from here on out. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And that one drops for him. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Jackson against Jones. Morris looking over the floor. Pocket six. Outside. Towns. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the Timberwolves aren't going to change here. Charge is checked in. Detroit leading by four. At the elbow, it's Drummond. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. Detroit shooting their first free throw tonight.
Jackson with it. Goes back up, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete, explosive, and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down, and he also can pass it, too. Free throw drops for Griffin. Blake Griffin hits them both. We've got 148 left here in the opening quarter. Higgins outside. Pass to Towns. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Drummond. Here's Kennard. Covered by Wiggins. Right through the D for the layup. Drummond's got his second bucket of the game to go. And you know, Drummond is an experienced big man now. And because of that, he's gained confidence and has no problem shooting over the defense inside. Nice work to get it inside and drop Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making it burn the free throw. The Timberwolves shooting their first shot from the stripe in this game. drops for Towns. I think this is one of the great strengths in Towns' game. Very reliable shooter from the foul line. Forces the defense not to be too anxious to send him to the strike. And Towns drops them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Out to the right wing. Drummond working against Towns. That one off the back iron and out. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. Yes, he does, Kevin. Love seeing Griffin finish with power at the rim. Awesome at throwing it down when he's in this deep. Last to charge. No good on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Here's Griffin. And that one goes long. Here's Wiggins. That one drops for him. Well, that was quality defense, but Wiggins showing off tremendous athleticism, able to overcome that defense. And so it's the Detroit Pistons bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Andre Drummond says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see a thing I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. And, you know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And, and those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? 
aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Riggins and Covington fill the wing. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Charlotte. And it's Wanamaker in at the point. Great speed by Wiggins there. I mean, makes him a dominant finisher in transition. Speed kills, and oftentimes you can't control it. And Drummond kicks to Kanon. Back to Drummond. It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves trail by eight. Here's the pass to Wanamaker. Pass to Wiggins. Another shot and good that time. Charge has got his first bucket of the night. Charge is a high energy guy and does a nice job positioning to get that offensive rebound. Kennard, the pass to Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Wiggins, right side. Here's Wanamaker. And the three off target. Pistons leading by eight. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And that one's good. Drummond. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. Outside Robinson. And Robinson throws it down hard. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Wiggins dishes to Towns, and it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Charge has the open look. Good, and as this goes to town. Charge has got five now. You know, it's obvious that Charge has really improved his outside shot. I mean, he had a good stroke coming in, but it's gotten better. He's a legitimate threat to score from there. Kennard kicks to Davis. Four on the clock. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Wanamaker. He drains it from the right block. Wanamaker's got it back down to within single digits for the Timberwolves. McConnell finds Robinson. Here's Kennard. Bounce pass from McConnell. Drummond working against Towns. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Timberwolves trail by 11. Here's Wanamaker. Headshot off. Davis with some nice D. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. To the paint. Here's Drummond. Trying to get open is Davis, and it's Drummond missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Covington with the bucket. Man, I like the guts from Covington there. I mean, definitely getting bodied a little on the shot, but still keeps his focus and gets it to go down. Davis, the pass to McConnell. Over to the wing. Here's Kanon. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got six rebounds here tonight. Wanamaker, the pass to Covington. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's the Detroit Pistons in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thanks. Dwayne, you're ahead. How do you keep this up for the rest of the game? Well, uh, maintain the disposition. I think we got to have a tough mental disposition against this team because they're going to keep playing. They know how to play the physical game. We did a good job in that half. We've got to maintain that. Okay, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at the Pistons, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Taking a look at the Pistons, Shaq, what did you think? Well, they've been playing with some toughness. This led to a nice lead for them, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers. Now they need to stay mean, I and mean, they cannot lose that air for a Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. They need to make major adjustments on the offense. Whatever their game plan was going into this game, scrap it. It's not been effective. The shots they were taking were not good shots. They need to find a way to spring guys open where they could shoot a better percentage. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. And it's Drummond with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. They've led by as many as 14 points. Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. And it's Robinson in at the small four. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. by six. Passes to Jackson. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. Wiggins kicks to Towns. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And that's now seven points for Carl Anthony Towns. Pass to Jackson. He could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. The Pistons have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Shoot two. No good on the free throw. the second from the line here in this third quarter just over a minute play 
Now the pass to Morris. Down low. The 11-footer. Rebound by the Pistons. Drummond's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their league. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And I like the timing, Kevin, that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. The drive by Jackson doesn't get it to drop for him. Towns with the defensive effort. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Robinson dishes to Jackson. The putback. The shot that time, not on turn. And Minnesota will come the other way. Here's Covington. A beautiful reverse layup. Covington's got his second basket of the night. Nice recognition here by Robert Covington. Seeing a lane to the bucket and pouncing on it immediately. Coming finds Jackson. Here's the floater. Tries again. Indeed, Drummond drops it in. Drummond's got four points this quarter. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here. And, boy, I really admire his energy. Here's Morris. Rebounded by the Pistons. Led by as many as 14 points. You know, the pass to Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. Thrown down with Forrest Drummond with great feel around the rim. Now, usually he's one of the leading dunkers in the NBA because he doesn't waste any time or motion in there. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Andre Drummond with a strong contribution so far in this one. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. McConnell, he's checked in for Kennard. And then for Minnesota. Marjanovic checked in for Towns. Charge comes in for Robert Covington. And a Kogi subbed in for Andrew Wiggins. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Here's a Kogi. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, kogi has got five points in the quarter. Jackson passes to Griffin. Good! And the Pistons lead by eight. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Jones, the pass to Marjanovic. Robinson pulls it in. Pistons leading by eight. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by McConnell. Jackson's got eight. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Morris outside. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Robinson. Last break, Detroit. Here's McConnell. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Detroit. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them take doing it, and they continue to Two succeed shots. as the game has worn on. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's um, that's a mark of a good club. That's good for McConnell. Davis has checked in for Detroit.
So one for two that time at the strike. Timberwolves trail by 11. For three, a Kogi. Another miss by Minnesota. Robinson against Morris. McConnell kicks to Davis. Six to shoot. Robinson passes to Griffin. They double team Griffin. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Timberwolves have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Jones, good on the shot. Jones has got his first bucket in this one. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the beast? Right side, Griffin. There's Jackson with the three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so is Detroit in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense too, Greg. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. We've got Marcus Morris. Charge is out there with Marjanovic. Then it's Jones. And it's a Kogi in at the shooting guard position. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. to Morris. From 12 feet out, here's Marjanovic. That one goes in. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Upside, Griffin. An easy two points on the left. It was all about his athleticism when Griffin first came into the league, but it didn't take long to see he was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. Floats one up. Jones, no luck. Pistons leading by 12. Robinson goes in. Oh, what a finish! Good. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that guy. Morjanovic, no good. Pistons have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Here's Jackson, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Charge outside. Jones with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Out in his own on the break. Here's McConnell. Finish off the break. And the Pistons lead by 18. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Minnesota calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now.
Andre Drummond's checked in for Detroit. Luke Kennard comes in for T.J. McConnell. Timberwolves also changing it up. Towns, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Robert Covington comes in for Sharich. And Wiggins is subbed in for Josh Akogi. And they get it. Morris with the bucket. Marcus. Morris has got his first basket of the night. Yeah, this is where Morris can kill you. He's pretty much clean that in-between game. Drummond finds Griffin. Drummond trying to get himself free. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Jackson passes to Griffin. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. And that one is good. Jackson's got 10 points in just the second half. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. Back to Jones. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists tonight. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Jones against Jackson. Passes it to Drummond. Now here's Griffin. Guarded close. Offline with the baseline jumper. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Down by 15. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Pistons. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Drummond. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with a fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. player of the game, Andre Drummond. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and, and it really backfired. Uh, instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Here's Akogi. He's guarded by Thomas. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And that one's good. Marjanovic. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency. Huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. It's stolen. Here's Wanamaker. And Marjanovic with the slam. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And the shot goes in. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. Why 
Whitehead deciding where to go with it. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Blake. Another good night of work offensively. How does the team build on this? Uh, just keep that rhythm. You know, we're not always going to hit shots every night. Some nights the shots aren't going to fall. So just keeping that rhythm, keeping the ball moving, talking on defense and uh, relying on each other. Congrats on a great win, Blake. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you.